We're down here at Old Nolunga, just a little town south of Adelaide. And if I just sort of show you the street, just a just a one way, one way, one way, or the other. Nothing really special. Now you know you're getting older when you say, I remember when. Well, I am getting older and I do remember when. This was the road, the one and only road. If you want to go from Adelaide down south, you had to go down the here. So just imagine all the cars from Adelaide wanted to go down south, they had to go this one road. There was no choice. There's no other way to go, no, can't go via anywhere else. So just imagine at the end of Easter or a long weekend or the end of a holiday, what the traffic was like. And I remember it took hours just to get home after a long weekend. I'm sure my father didn't get out of second gear going all the way through here. It wasn't so much that they were stopped, it was just so slow. So many cars, so all the cars, trucks, buses, all had to go down this one road. And they're not the fastest, but that's all it was. So another photograph taken, O for Old No Longer. Uh, I couldn't be in the photograph, as you can see, because I'd have to put the camera in the middle of the road. And if you don't have anybody to get off the road quickly when the car comes, I'd lose the camera. So that's OK. Uh, I'll head down south a bit further, try and find uh, Aldinga Post Office, and we'll see how we go there. So, uh, more riding ahead. for the Dinka Post Office. You saw by the road, uh, not a bad drive today. Lots of police around. Lots of community events, country events coming up. Uh, country fire service up the road is having a bit of a display. Went past a police car at Old Norlunga, pulling over a driver for something. Luckily I wasn't speeding. Sunny day, bits of cloud, cool. I should have worn the full face helmet, but yeah, what do you get But this place is a bit Funny. Hold on, let me show you. It's. Can you hear the music? I don't know why it's there. But this uh, shopping centre is surrounded by car park on all sides. So it's nowhere near a main road. So this was just a lucky find on my behalf, the fact that I tried to Google map it and have a look at street view before it was this old thing, the post office, but you couldn't see it because the, the streets, you know, right over there. And so you, there's nothing. 
you just can't see this post office from Street View. But another one done. Chilly, chilly. As usual, I don't get totally prepared. I should have worn a thin jumper underneath the jacket uh, just to take off when I got a bit warmer, but I'll go home and have a hot shower once this is all done. All right, so I've been heading south. Was it old Norlunga? Now I'm old Dinga. If I continue, right, if I go out that road, go back up to the road again, turn right, then it's going to take me way down over those hills and I'll try and find my way to my Ponga uh, to do the letter M and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do from there. Welcome to, I was going to say sunny my ponga, but it's not. Uh, old sign. There's nothing on the other side that I can actually stop at because it's behind a big barricade. It'd be interesting to see how the microphone goes with all these cars. It's a Sunday and it is as busy as on this main road. I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, but I'll show you the... More cars and more cars. So, who knows what's going on? It's getting a little bit more overcast, a little bit more cool. Really could have used an extra jumper. And another car. Oh my god, never stops. And another one. Oh, okay. At least I haven't seen any more police cars recently. All right, I'll continue on south and see how I go and uh, figure out what I'm going to do next. Enjoy the ride. Down here at Yankalilla, uh, there's the District Council of Yankalilla building. 
So that will do for this photograph for the letter Y. What I've tried to do in the past is if you have a look over there and I'll zoom in, there's the post office. But if you look where it is, it's right on the intersection. There's no parking just out front. I'd either have to drive up or ride up onto the footpath or park in the gutter and take my chances with the car. So yeah, I didn't really want to do that. So I ended up with the district council building. I suppose this brings us to a good point. Look at the building, look at the, the ground in front and you can see all the the sun on the ground. That's in shadow, which so that's going to be a little bit of post-processing on my part to try and get rid of it all. But time of day does matter. Uh, it's, what's the time? 11 a.m. in the morning. From here I'm going to go down, I'll see if I can get down to Victor Harbour and take a photograph of the police station. But that is building face, I'll have to take a photograph facing east and so in the afternoon sun will be the best but you can't pick your times all the time but there are some places that you just you'll be look, taking a photograph into the sun which won't really give a great photograph so you just have to bear in that in mind when you decide when you're going to go to various places to take photographs where you're going to be taking the photograph what direction you're going to be facing where's the sun is it going to be in the shadow is it going to be in bright sun you know blah 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 all that kind of stuff the cars oh my god look at them all can't stand it i can't stand it Ugh. okay on my way uh, we'll see how we go with the next uh, next lot that we're going to take Made it slowly to the Inman Valley. Just cars on the road, so it's an 80 zone, but we're doing about 50, 60. Uh, the Inman Valley sign, you gotta love it. I mean, how Australian can you get? Uh, let me just show you this. So there, sort of, I mean, how Aussie, so you've got at the top, Inman Valley, welcome to, corrugated iron, and they've even got a kookaburra along the top. I mean, come on. Nowhere in the world would you see a sign. Oh, that's really good. Oh, good focusing there, Keith. There we go. I mean, where else can you find a sign with corrugated iron? A kookaburra. I mean, on the other side. Yeah, there's the old, like, old corrugated iron. An old post from somewhere that they've bolted onto the ground. I think it's just awesome. But sun's come out again, which is good. Still freezing. Why didn't I bring the jumper? I'll carry on to um, Victor Harbour now, to the police station. And then uh, hightail it back home and uh, see how I go with all this. See how we go with all the noise of these cars going past. Yeah, it's a Sunday, what do you expect? All right, so from Inman Valley, I say goodbye for the moment. Oh, even on the other side, if I, perhaps I could stay, because the sign says, meet the neighbors and have a coffee. Okay, all right. 
happy riding. Well, I didn't quite make it to the uh, police station here, did I? I just happened to see this thing as I was coming down the hill. Makes a bit of a difference. Victor, I've been coming here for since I was you know, that high. Uh, and it's changed so much. It was a sleepy little coastal town. Lots of dirt roads, there were no phones, no posted deliveries, it was really a get away from the hustle and bustle. But now it's a place you go down for a day trip to Victor, or if you want to, like most people, you come here and retire. I reckon the median, median age of, well, more cars, the median age of everybody here is, would be higher than anywhere else in the state. This is the place that down to and you buy an expensive house and you spend your final years here so but I don't have to do the uh, police station you can't really see much of Victor from here but yeah the sea's over there the sea's over there but another one done the letter V which is good more cars coming uh, I'll try and find that big thing coming up, so I'll go for a ride, and depending on how everything goes, perhaps I'll try and find one of the conservation parks, and then hightail it back to Adelaide. But uh, enjoying the journey, uh, thanks for joining me, uh, let's go for another ride. Alright, goodbye from Victor Harbour.